<clears throat> hey guys, um, this is things that I have finished episode or whatever video number 25. Um, it is really, really like overcast and dreary today. Um, so if it's dark in here, I'm sorry, I turned my big light on, but you know, it's the only light I have in here. So like I said, this is number 25. It's been three weeks since I did my last video. It's just been crazy. It's Christmas time. Um, I have several things that I've made. I wanted to go ahead and film this video because they're going to go out, um, some of them as presents. So I wanted to film it and get, you know, show them to you before I wrap them up. So I need to wrap them because this is like Monday and then Christmas is on Friday. So, um, yeah, so I have that. Um, I have not bought anything since the last video, um, mostly because, you know, it's Christmas and I didn't. I don't buy a lot of stuff. I kind of hold off on buying things, um, you know, so I can spend my money on other people's presents. But, um, so yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything I should grab. No, I think I'm good. I mean, I may have to grab something over in the side. But, let's see. Anything else been going on? Not really. Um, I'm going to have to rearrange my little table again. I showed y'all and now I'm going to have to redo it because I'm getting a new computer for Christmas. So, um, cause my laptop's about to die. It's just not very good. But, um, to fit the the computer tower on my table, I'm going to have to kind of rearrange my stuff. So if I ever get that, um, fixed, you know, after the new year, I'll do another little room tour. It's just a hot mess right now. So, you know stuff everywhere but anyway let's get right into it i'll do things that i've finished first um because i just have quite a few of those i have several projects that i'm working on that are kind of like me I'll, i've started them but you know i'll tell you in just a little minute i have i think three of these scarves these infinity type scarves i've made um this is out of the burnett blanket and i'm not sure the exact color but this is like a sea foam and then this one in the middle is the um, coordinating variegated color that goes with it. <clears throat> and these are um, like, you know, infinity scarves. So I don't want to, I don't want to get my makeup on it. Because one of these, this one is the one I'm not sure, I think, if I'm, who I'm going to give it to. I just made, this was the last one from the batch of yarn that I had. So, um, but yeah, there's three of these. So let me get the other one. This one is that same yarn, so but it's um, more the variegated mostly, and then the teal at the ends. And these are just um, double crochets. It's pretty standard. And what I did at the end, you can see I'm actually going to turn these inside out. So this would be like the inside. I actually, just to make sure, because this yarn is kind of hard to sew because it's so thick, um, I joined it with a single crochet, so I worked it just like it was a scarf, and then I came back around and joined it. Um, and then I did another single crochet on top of it, so it's got this little ridge, and it's really secure. Um, just because I've had in the past, this yarn is a little bit hard to secure for me. I don't. It may not be for other people, but... It's, you know, I just want to make sure it's not going to come apart on, you know, whoever I give it to. And this is actually for uh, my husband's mom. This one is. So I'm going to wrap it up. And I made her a um, a hat to match. And this is just the, one of the Better Late Than Never beanies um, out of the same yarn. And what I did with this one, because this yarn is so big and thick, um, is I actually... I did the Better Late Than Never Beanie to about here, just the standard pattern, and then on these two rows of double crochet, I reduced a few stitches so that it comes in. You might be able to see um, it kind of shrinks in down here because it was just going to be too big. So I think now it's a it's a better it's a better size. So I think it'll fit her good, and it's super soft. This Bernat blanket is. And there's another one of these, but it's down in the bottom, so I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, I finally finished, I've talked about this cowl thing several times, not knowing if I was going to finish it or not, because of the type of yarn it is. I finally finished it. This is the Peyton's Metallic, 
yarn and it's the silver I'm not sure the exact color I think it just had a number for a color but it turned out really pretty I like the drape that it has um, and I'm not sure I may I may give this to my mom um, I really think she'd like it I just I don't like the um, the texture of the yarn I've said it before in the last video it does stick to your fingers especially if you have dry hands which I do um, but it's so, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna have to decide when I'm wrapping stuff, whether I'm gonna give that to her or not. Um, this is also the, the Bernat blanket yarn. This was my first kind of, um, if you see Henry, I'm so sorry. Henry, go on, keep going. Go, go. Go, <laughs> Tuna, go on. Henry Lee, thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. He just decided to stop right in front of the camera. But um, this is just a cowl, double crochet all the way around. And it's really, again, with the cat, it's really cute. Um, but I like the scarf pattern that I did better. So this was kind of like my first try for that. I don't know if you can even see him, but he's like parked himself right in front of the camera. Um... And this is the one that I'm going to give to my mom of this kind of pattern. And basically what I did was I just switched it. I used the white and then the variegated on this one and the double crochet still. Henry, please lay down somewhere. <laughs> um, but it's the same pattern, same. I think I did 120 stitches um, around and on a chain is how many. Well, not around because I joined it at the end. But it's 120 single or slip stitches or chains whatever I can't hold on Henry baby could you go lay down somewhere because you're distracting me lay down baby go on he's not gonna do it he's being an extra annoying cat today okay go shoo 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 tuna go on okay I can't think of when he was standing there looking at me. I couldn't I couldn't talk. But anyway, it's 120 chain and then I worked off that chain. So there's 120 stitches and then I joined it at the end. So that's that's basically and it's double crochet. So that's the pattern for that. Um hold on. Come here, Henry Lee. You may hear a little bit of craziness going on in just a second because Lola likes to chase Henry. Um, but anyway, so that are those are my finished crochet projects. Um, let me just shove these back in here. And I'm going to wrap them today, hopefully. So um, I don't have to go to work till really late today. Um, I have a midnight shift um, where I work till midnight, not where I go in at midnight. But um, we're open till midnight this week because of Christmas. So that's what I will be doing. So I have a little bit of time before I have to go to work. So I'm going to try to get these wrapped and taken care of. So I don't have to worry about that later on in the week. Um, I made a bunch of stitch markers just as kind of a break from the crocheting craziness. And, um, oh, so last week or the week before I had a custom order in my Etsy shop for, um, I think it was 14 or 18 or something like that sets of stitch markers. So I was so excited and I did that. And um, in doing that, I figured out a cool way to kind of put my stitch markers um, so that when I ship them, I was just kind of tying them with a ribbon. Um, but I found a better way to do that while I was doing the lady's order. So what I've done is I've taken one of my cards and I've punched two little holes in it and then I take a um, safety pin and hook my stitch markers on it so they sit and I think you'll be able to see them better when I show them on the video too of course you'll see my card stuff behind it but it's okay I mean it's just my Etsy shop stuff but these I made these are all sets of four um, I kind of settled have settled on four is a pretty good set um, it fits good on you know everything and you know, I don't want to make too many because then I have to up the price and I don't, you know, I kind of want to keep it at a reasonable price. So these are just um, silver butterflies and um, and little flowers. So they're really cute. I hope y'all can see those. I don't know how well it's going to, 
my camera doesn't have a viewfinder that's like in the front so I can't see what it's you know what it looks like so these are just I don't know what he's doing now I think he's being mad because I kicked him off the table but um these are just little keys these are actually really little but I thought they were so cute let me see if you can see them and hold my hand steady hopefully it'll focus on those but they're little bitty keys I thought they were so cute and um these are kind of from a similar charm set these are little crowns and then one in the middle is a little uh, medallion it's blue it doesn't want to turn the right way but so those are like little crowns and a little blue medallion these are my stars I love these stars I don't know I can't remember where I got them they're in like a set of a lot of different random charms but I just really like them so I hope at some point I can find some more because I'm almost out of um, stars these are real simple they're just beads that I put together silver beads and I think I did a set of these uh, before that were like gold and silver beads so um let's see these are cute now these are the only pair I've made or the only set I've made for crochet um this time and these are bronze looking they're like little um nautical fish sea charms thought they were super cute and they're on lobster class so they'd be good for crochet or knitting I mean you can use them for either one and then I, I had these little wooden beads that I thought were super cute and I wasn't real sure what I was going to do with them so what I did was I put little charms on the end and then beads um, as well so it made them stand out they're really cute and I made several sets of these those have little elephants on them I think these are my favorite ones of course little stars I love the stars I, don't know. I made little um little crosses these are cute too these are a little just little butterfly and flower ones and I made a pair of earrings dangling like chandelier type of earrings with those keys because I thought they were super cute and I don't think you're gonna be able to really see those very well they were really really hard to photograph too for my shop so but they hang really really cool if you can see them but they hang really they're very dangly and flowy so I thought those are really cool so that's all of my finished objects it's all that I finished okay so in works in progress I've got let me reach over here and get this I started working on a scarf um with this yarn uh, y'all have seen this before I bought this on clearance at Joann's it's um no, wait. This was the Walmart one that I found at Walmart. I bought several of them at Walmart. It's one of their holiday yarns. It's like a Christmas yarn is what they had it marked as. So, but, um, and I started a scarf. I'm going to rip this out. I do not really care for the pattern. So, it's just, um, I don't know. I think it needs to be something a little bit cuter. I might make a headband out of this, too. I thought that would be really cute because of the how silver and um sparkly it was but i don't know i'm just not feeling the the i'm not feeling the scarf on that one so i'm probably gonna rip that one out um this one i'm not gonna rip out i'm gonna finish um this is a this is one of those yarns i got from that lady who was selling a bunch of yarn um out of her garage that she um didn't need anymore she had like tubs and tubs of yarn so this is what it looks like. It's black with like specks of different kinds of colors in it. It's really kind of cute. I've made stuff out of this before. She had several of these and I got them. I think I paid like a dollar a skein for these or something like that. So um, I'm making a scarf for um, one of the girls at work out of this um, because I think I don't know what color she's she like wears a lot but I feel like because it's black with little specks it would go with just about anything. So I'm going to make her, if I can get it done, I mean, I'm not going to stress myself out over it. She's my secret Santa. I've already bought her her secret Santa stuff, so this would just be like an extra. Um, but if I can't get it done in time, I mean, I'm not going to like, 
that's what I have to be very careful with during the season is I get like like I want to make stuff for people and then it ends up being like oh my gosh and I can't get it done and I stress out about it and I stay up forever so I'm just not gonna worry I've got the major ones done that I was gonna get done my mom and Adam's mom and that kind of stuff so I've got those done and I'm just if I get something extra done for somebody else then that's just a bonus I'm not gonna like stress about it I've decided this year um this is <clears throat> some of the Michaels brand the loops and threads I kept the um I kept the the, the little wrapper for this but now I've lost it because I was going to do this video last week and I just never got to it but um this is loops and threads and it is like their um kind of like their homespun I'm not really sure it gets in your face too I'm not really sure exactly what it's called but basically I was trying to oh here I have one hold on just a second this is the other ball. I forgot I had another ball. Um, it's called Country Loom, and it is it is a super bulky. I'm trying to find the color. This color is called Wizard, and it is one of those homespunny type yarns. See how it's poofy. Um, so I'm just kind of playing around with this one. I'm not real sure what I'm gonna make. Um, they had these on sale at Michael's um, for pretty cheap and I don't usually work with this kind of yarn just because it irritates me when I crochet it's like you know it gets stuck on stuff so but um, I think it's so pretty I'm trying to I'm, I'm making a scarf is what I'm doing and I'm just trying to I'm playing with it to see what I like best and what hook I want to use and that kind of stuff so this one's just kind of an experiment work in progress basically um, and I think Sorry, Lola just pushed me out of the way. I think that might be all of my works in progress that I'm actually like working on um, right this moment. I have several things that are still in the works in progress um, graveyard over on the side. I'm going to work on that stuff just after Christmas. I can't do it right now. Um, it's still a goal of mine. Maybe I'll make it my New Year's resolution to like finish some of the things that I have laying around. Some of the projects that I've started and gotten most of the way done and then just lost interest in. So I'm going to try to do that. Maybe that'll be my New Year's resolution and I'll try to get after that. I'm not real sure that's going to work. But whatever. We'll try. I mean it's not hurting anything that I've got those sitting around. Um, yeah. I'm trying to look around to see if there's anything else. I don't think there is. Um, yeah, so if this is a short video, I'm sorry. But this is going to be probably the last video for this year. Huh. You know, because this year is going to be over next week. But um, I probably won't have much done. So it may be first week of January, second week of January before I do another video. I don't know. We'll see. Um, depends on how crazy it's going to get around here. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching my video. Sorry about the, um, Henry Cat intrusion. If you noticed, Henry has a lot of names. I call him Tuna, um, a lot, and Henry Lee. His name is really Henry Lee, but, um, we call him Tuna, so he seems to like it. He's over there pouting because I pushed him off the table. His little bed's over here. I was trying to get him to lay on it, but he just was not happening. He was not having it today. Um... But yeah, sorry about his intrusion, his kitty butt that you probably saw. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, you can find me on um, Instagram as Crocheting Stitch. And you can find me on Etsy, also as Crocheting Stitch. And I have the, the stitch markers that I showed you are photographed. So if you want to see better pictures of those, they're up now. None of the other stuff that I showed you is up. Because a lot, most of that is, um, like I said, it's gifts. Most of it's gifts. So, those won't be going in the shop, most likely. Um, well, they won't, I'm sure. But, um, yeah. So, I don't have a whole big shop update this week. I usually do. When I make a video, I'll have the stuff that I show you. I'll go. But, most of it's going to be gifts. 
so I don't have a big shop update but if you know as always go check it out if um, any of you guys who watch me have ordered things this month thank you so much um, I really hope you enjoy them um, it, whether they're Christmas presents or presents for you just whatever they are but thank you so much and I hope you all enjoyed the video I'll talk to you next time bye